I am not a too bad. I am not an only if. I am definitely not how unfortunate. I love my life and I'll tell you why. Let's begin with Special Olympics, an incredible organization for which I play basketball. But so much more than just learning how to do a crossover dribble, hit a jump shot, or make a basket from downtown. We learn about giving back, making a difference, and being the best we can be. And yes, of course we like to win. I also act in local plays. I have a great job, good friends, and close family. I get to be an advocate for people with disabilities. My disability does not define me. It is simply a small part of a much bigger life. And yeah, I was born with something called autism. You may have heard of it. You definitely know somebody with it. So what is autism? Here's a way to describe autism without getting too sciencey. It's like the difference between an iPhone and an Android. The way they work is different, but they both work as phones, even if they might take different paths to reach the same result. Individuals with autism are not all the same. If you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. People with disabilities are as varied as people of different races, religions, and cultures. And doesn't that make the world so much more interesting? Some individuals with autism are nonverbal, meaning they don't speak or speak very little. But nonverbal is not the same as non-thinking. Please don't make that mistake. Many with nonverbal autism communicate through the written word, including, including beautiful poetry and stories. Others communicate through technology, like computers and phones, and even have their own blogs. People say those with autism have a neurodivergent brain. I love that term, neurodivergent. Almost makes me feel like I have some kind of superpower, right? Let's talk about some other folks that are believed to have autism and done pretty well for themselves. Albert Einstein, you might know him as the scientist with the big hair. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, one of the most talented musicians and composers of all time. Sir Isaac Newton, the discoverer of gravity, kind of important. How about our third president and writer of the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson. Michelangelo, Charles Darwin, and poet Emily Dickinson. The list goes on and on. Mind bloom right so we've talked about me we've talked about superpowers and historical figures now it's time to talk about you so you're kind of important to our future and how people like me are treated how we may feel more included in every part of society so what can you do you ask well it's actually quite simple there will come a time when you're walking down your street or in the halls or even down a grocery aisle and you're going to cross paths with someone that has some type of disability. And you're going to have a decision to make, a very important one. You might look away, possibly pretend you're busy, or you're gonna do the thing I hope you do. You're gonna look that person square in their eyes, flash your best smile, and say what's up or hey or hello. Recognize us as people equal in your eyes and I promise it will make you feel good too. I challenge you to look at the bigger picture. We have an opportunity for unity in our daily lives. On a closing note, I want to say a very special thank you to Shana Lubitz, Emily Shoemaker, and Taylor Ziller for making a difference.